picking up our WSU breeder, product of Sue Kobe, and here at Strachan Apiaries. Welcome back to the channel of California Beekeeper. Hey guys, I'm Jose. We are here at Strachan Apiaries. We are here to pick up our WSU Breeder Queen. So let's go inside. All right guys, we're here with Philip Russell. He is the Vice President of Strachan Apiaries. So we are getting our Breeder Queen here. What can people expect from this line as far as genetics? What we breed for and what we've continued with the WSU and the Sue Kobe line is to breed for the New World Carniolan. They're a dark bee. They're very conservative, so they overwinter better. Um, they fly at much cooler temperatures, so you can drive through the orchard at 50, sometimes 48 degrees, and they'll be coming out the entrance and flying to pollinate, which is great for almonds. Um, very gentle and hygienic. So we breed, we breed for nice, hygienic, clean bees. So we will drop their website down and below in the description box. So if you guys want to reach out, good company, great product, great queens. So make sure you check them out. And now we're gonna go get our breeder, load her up and head up north. We are gonna go pick up our breeder. It's back here. It's a pretty impressive operation. You got all their lifts and flatbeds. In there. Oh, she's in the cage? Yeah, okay. So it'll protect her. Okay. Her driving okay. And stuff cool. Like that. And then if you transfer her, all those bees are from her. So you're going to Okay, so I could release. release. Yep. Okay. Awesome. You can just transfer that into your box. Take this girl home. Did you name her already? No. Well, she's G21, G73. All right, you got it. <laughs> That's her name. I think we just will keep her name. We'll call her G21. 73 what's that what are the the g21 uh she has a green tag on her back okay she's number 21 yeah and then g73 was her mom so oh got it yeah. and we go back every year we can see the lineage we can see the ones that um are good and uh we just continually graft and breed from the ones that were good the previous year and then we reintroduce new stock and everything like that nice so, who does uh, the the ai and is it Valerie, your mom? My mom and, and me. And okay. Sue, Sue usually comes down to... To do some yep. work. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give us a big thumbs up on this video. This girl is getting the VIP treatment. We're, we're taking her in the cab. There we go. We had to make that video pretty short because we have to get this girl back up north get her set up um, if the temperatures are too cold you know being our breeder queen we do not want to uh, force her in a box with a lot of uh, cool air space um, we are having below temperatures uh, some of the guys from Strachan I know a couple of guys great great team they have there back to putting her in a larger box we just have to make sure we do it right Make sure that it's not too cold right now. It's 55. We have to hurry up to our yard and get her transferred into a large box. Here at the farm, we can go set up our breeder. We have our breeder. Here she is. This is the timing box. We have an excluder down below. That way she can't cross. So it is uh, 54 degrees. So we're going to try to just get it in and release her really quick. Get my smoker. You know, there's always that one bee, you know? We're gonna get this girl in as quick as possible, carefully. She is a very expensive queen, and uh, it's pretty important that we're gentle with her and uh, introduce her. So we're keeping her in a uh, single because it is in a five frame nuke. We'll put her right in here. Depending on how populated it is, we might bring some brood. 
put it on the other side. We want to have it's just solid brood here, solid brood here, empty frame here. The empty frame is the frame that she's going to be laying. Usually that empty frame, uh, they're going to polish it and they'll have her ready for her probably tomorrow. And then she'll start laying. And that's what a timing box is. It's, uh, it's so we know that the larvae all the same age as we're grafting. It might vary from a few hours, but for the most part, it'll all be the same when we pull it out and we can rock and roll and start grafting. We're just gonna put it in here. Well, actually, change of plans. I think I need a, an Italian. So I have to put the Italian right there. So I always have to keep track of the orders and what's coming in. First large orders are Italians. So that's what's going in here, Italians. And if I have enough time, I will go ahead and do another timing box for our uh, New World Caucasian WSU product there. Man, I'm excited. Bring in some new genetics, top quality into our apiary in order to be able to produce some hybrid queens for you guys. Talking to um, Philip over the phone uh, prior to me getting there and he was telling me that uh, germaplasm that's brought over from overseas that germaplasm is inseminated into these breeder queens. So. Well guys, I apologize. I jumped the gun and started rocking and rolling. So here's this bottom box. I had to find a queen. She is here somewhere. This is our Italian Cordova queen. Mm. You guys see her, drop a comment down below. It's hard to see with this type of veil. Anyhow, well, we won't look for her too much because it's, uh, it's getting a little chilly and we need to get this thing set up like now. I like to keep the brood right here in the center, right over where that queen is because we want them to cluster up. All right, so we're going to put our excluder right here. We are having some chillier nights here and the freezing temperatures we're supposed to get uh, down to 28 today. So it's important to keep that cluster still that nice solid ball and if you're moving brood around it's still important to get it nice and tight that way they can keep warm and she is still able to lay i'm gonna set you guys up over here on another breeder bada beam bada boom and uh, you guys can watch more it's getting a little nippy so make sure we don't squish the queen excluder goes like so and you want to make sure it's all nice and square timing box right there push your Scooters all the way down. Do not want her to pass through down below. So make sure it's nice and flush. Okay, so now we have to find the queen. And how I like to look for it when they're kind of clustered up like that. So I blow on it just a little. Just have a move. Not there. This brood on the outside here. While we inspect these other ones. We won't have time to set up our WSU breeder queen. That's okay. No need to rush. Let's see. Where are where are thou, my queen, huh? She must be in that first frame. Definitely. We'll keep this one in the middle because it's nice and solid. She won't lay anywhere here. It's, has the uh, solid honey and pollen. And the brood is pretty solid. So we'll keep that in here. That way we maintain that cluster. She is definitely here. I just didn't spot her. Okay, not there. There she is. Right there, guys. So we're going to paint her. But for now, uh, she's laying it good in there. We might just stick this one in there too. Yeah, she is. We'll stick her in here. So now that I know she is on this side here, what I will do is I will put her up against the excluder. That way, the next frame that I bring in, the grafting frame, will go right in here. And, uh, clean it up a little. So this is a nice, uniform frame. They'll polish it the first day, and she'll start laying, likely tomorrow. This is a honey. Honey. Those are ugly old frames, so we'll keep those on the outside. 
There we go. Right over here. Bring the fabric right there. Put our lid. That way she can't walk over on the other side. We know that we have the excluder down below, so she can't go anywhere in here. The cloth really seals it. So that's a quick setup, guys. Hope you enjoyed this little quick little video, taking you guys over to get our WSU breeder queens at their friends at Strachan. What a day. Yeah, we'll see you guys on the next one. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys. If you have any questions, go drop those questions down below in the comments box. Love hearing from you guys. Woo!